Hey guys, with the new release of Logo Enterprise 2.4, there's multiple ways to configure your app properties. Um, essentially, you can do it with environment variables, you could do it with something like console, or you can do it some, with something like AWS Param Store. So in this video, we're gonna do it with environment variables, but there'll be other videos out that'll look into console and Param Store, so look out for those. So to start off, you're gonna want a project. In this case, it could be something very basic. So what I just did is I just did a timer every 15 seconds. And then I just had it basically just logging in some property value. So in this case, the property name sample, and then in this case, the property name test. And then I just return the value there. And so when you're in order to set those property names, what you have to do is within the flow window is go to app properties. And here you can actually list or add or remove um, different properties that you want to have within your application. So in this case, you do see sample, you see test, they're both strings, and then I can put the default value here. So here I have sample value as the default value for sample, and then test value for the default value for test. And then also if I wanted to, I could change this from to a Boolean number, string, password, um, just depending on what I need the actual property to be. So I already have these added, so I'm not gonna add anything, I'm not gonna delete or change anything, so I'm just gonna close out of this. And then once you've built an application out, then just like any other Flogo project, you just build I'll click build, select your operating system that you want um, the binary to be built for. Uh, I'm using a Mac, so I would use Darwin, um, but I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that. So if I go to my terminal, you'll see that I have a project called app config new Darwin AMD64. So that's the project you want to run. So let's just run it normally. And if you notice, once the first time it's run, then you see uh, sample value and test value. So these are the two. Uh, parameters the two yeah the two parameters that we've defined and the default values within those parameters that we defined within the uh, UI so if I exit out of that um, so it was, it was a timer app so I would just keep seeing that over and over and over um, but let's say we want to change the value of this using environment variables so the way to do that is there's are two steps so the first step is to export the variable name so in this case I'm going to want to change let me go back to the UI test variable or test property so export test and then I'm gonna say equals and then some values I say changed test variable and so something to keep in mind is when you're actually exporting this is when you're putting the actual name of the variable so notice test all lowercase here um, it's all lowercase because I need it to match how the, um, the capitalization is within the properties value in the UI. So here, because it's all lowercase, I'll use all lowercase here. But if I had capitalized the T into test, then I would have to capitalize it here as well when I export it. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, one way to get around this is if you don't want to have to worry about any type of capitalizations or anything, if you just uppercase the entire variable, so like this, then it doesn't matter if there's capitalization, lowercase, and things like that. It'll, it'll pick it up no matter what, so you don't have to worry about that. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as all lowercase, though. So I exported that out. And so now the way that Flogo picks it up and basically looks for this variable is you have to set a basically a parameter. So app props resolvers equals env. And basically what this is saying is that you should go in and you should look um, for or look within your environment variables and see if there's anything that can be done or anything that can be used to replace the property values that you had set within the UI itself. And let's see, I'm gonna restart the app. This is app config. And so if you notice here, um, straight off the bat, you get a message here that says flow go app props resolver set to env. Property sample cannot be resolved using resolver env using default value. So this is something um, to not worry about. It's just a, a message that it gives you. But essentially what it's saying is that um, it, it couldn't find an environment variable set within your terminal to replace the default value with. And in this case, that makes sense because we didn't actually export any new value for sample. We just exported a new value for test. So this is a, a non-error, it's just giving you some information of that it's gonna use the default value. And so if we go into what we're actually getting out of the log messages, we see exactly that. So the first log message says sample value, which is what the default value for sample was. But then if you notice here, change text variable is what the value is coming out for text. And that's what we actually exported it out. 
um, when we actually exported this. Let's see if I can, right here, export test change text variable. So we know that the application itself has picked up the variable change and is now propagating that throughout the application. And so you can do these changes anytime you want um, within your, as environment variables within the terminal. So if I wanted to change it again, I would just do another export to the application. I would just change the value and then I'd run the app again, make sure that I add the logo app properties resolver equals env variable in there and it'll pick that up immediately. So it's really useful where you don't have, if you have a default value set already, um, you can use that. But let's say you have to make changes to your app or you want to do different tests or maybe you want to deploy them in different environments. Rather than having to go back into the UI and actually make those changes and rebuild the binary, you can just set the, the variables, essentially the app config variables within um, your terminal using environment variables. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, there'll be a a video on how to do this with console and a video how to do this with the AWS param store. So look out for that. Um, but yeah, thank you.